Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out these new Racer Star 4-in-1 ESCs or 20 amps. Uh, there's also a 30 amp version uh, as well. And the neat feature about this 4-in-1 uh, ESC is that the individual ESCs are now detachable. So if one of the ESCs should uh, be damaged for whatever reason, you can replace them. Um, it comes pre-soldered all together like this. You can see that there's uh, all these different solder bridges here to hold it together. Um, so if you're not a, a good uh, person with um, soldering skills, then uh, you might have some difficulty doing a replacement on this because you do have to remove these solder bridges to get rid of the uh, bad ESC. Uh, the other thing that is um, a little bit of a disadvantage of this uh, style or this setup is that it doesn't come with any kind of uh, BEC on board. So I know that some of the more recent uh, Racer Star 401 ECs have come with some 5 volt regulators on the board to um, output 5 volts to say a flight controller for example but this one doesn't have that um, I would think that maybe uh, as an improvement they could perhaps work something like that into a, a newer version if they could that would be kind of useful and I think the other thing that they could improve on is maybe going away from uh, using solder bridges here and maybe going to some sort of a modular uh, system where they actually connect the ESCs together through some sort of uh, uh, some sort of a connection instead of the solder bridges. Uh, you know, there's pros and cons to that. You know, in terms of vibration and, and, and losing its electrical connection. Um, so uh, would have to they would have to come with something that would not lose its connection due to vibrations from the frame. So there's not a whole lot to this uh, setup here. You got basically four ECs and four signal wires. There's no ground, so you, there's uh, only four signal wires, and that's it. You get a uh, battery lead here that's already soldered on, and this is a I'm not sure what gauge wire. Okay, it's an 18 gauge wire, so a little bit thinner um, for say like an XD60 connection. I think a uh, 16 gauge wire might be better. Um, those electrical connections here for positive and negative, the feed power to the uh, these ESCs are just the same on the other side. Right? These are also positive and negative, and also on the other side of the board here, they're also positive and negative. You can see they're labeled as well. And you'll see that uh, in, in the build I have here in a second, that uh, how I wired this up. Now, a couple things about uh, the chipset on here. It's the BB2 chipset running at 48 megahertz. And it comes uh, DSHOT 600 enabled out of the box. You don't have to do any kind of modifications to run DSHOT 600. And um, I'll put a little screenshot here up of the default settings in BL Heli Configurator so you can see what those are. And I think it's running 16.5. And I'll just uh, put the default settings up on the screen. And then that's probably when I'm, I'm going to fly it as out of the box, just on the default settings. Here's a couple of quick measurements on the dimensions here. And this way it's 36.3 okay, in this direction with the solder tabs it's going to be a little bit more it's coming in at about 40.8 okay so here it is uh, in, in a build that I'm putting together and this is the uh, ZMR 210R um, you can see here that it's using a different sort of um, mounting setup instead of using those uh, little nylon uh, hex standoffs it's using a single screw with uh, spacers and I think that's a little bit better because the, some of these uh, FETs here are really close to the standoff, so it's using these little spacers here instead. They're round, so it uh, maximizes the space here that's available on the board. You can see I already uh, soldered on my motor wires to, these are these are just some Emacs uh, 2205 2300 kV motors, and um, just powering it off an XD60 here. And uh, this flight controller here is uh, able, able to take um, is able to take uh, direct battery voltage so the way I've wired this up is on the other side of the board here I have a little uh, JST connector that's going to go to the uh, FPV setup and then I have some uh, additional uh, wires here going to the VBAT of this uh, flight controller which is on this side right here and this is a uh, uh, Revo uh, clone an F4 board so you can take direct battery voltage as a 5 volt regulator on board and then you can see here the individual ESC signal wires, the colored ones, are going to the bottom of the uh, board here as such for the um, uh, signal wires for the motors. And I'll go ahead and I'll run a little clip here of uh, the motors running. Uh, I just I had connected to the Beale Heli or uh, Betaflight Configurator. 
and just ramp up the motor slowly and you'll see how smooth that the motor uh, uh, spin up and spin down on these ESCs. So I'm going to have flight footage of uh, how this particular board flies uh, uh, when I do the maiden for this uh, particular uh, build here, the ZMR 210R. I'll put a card up here in the corner for that uh, flight demo when that comes out. Um, you'll be up there, but obviously right now it's not going to be because I'm still building this. So let me know if you guys have any questions about the new RacerStar ESCs and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll try and address those in the next video for the uh, ZMR 210R. You can uh, leave comments in this video for that. Hope you guys found this video interesting and helpful, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.